So this is the model I'm going to be working on with this drawing. And uh, when I'm setting up to do a portrait drawing, there are two measurements that I always look for. First, I look for usually from the top of the head to the bottom of the chin. Usually the eyes will lie about halfway. Then we look for another set of measurements, and that's thirds, from the bottom of the chin to the bottom of the nose, bottom of the nose to the middle of the eyebrows, middle of the eyebrows to the hairline. Um, because the head is in a downward position here, those measurements are not going to apply to this particular drawing. So I have to kind of wing it and come up with my own measurements. And here's what I've come up with. Um, on the page, first, you'll see me mark the top of the crown and the bottom of the chin just to get my parameters set. And I will also drop a vertical line, a longitudinal line that um, should serve as kind of a center line for the face, not for the head, as you can see. Um, and then the next thing I, I kind of figured out just by messing around with measurements, and you'll see me struggle with this a little bit in the video, is if we let this measurement be X from bottom of the chin to bottom of the nose, then 2X is right at the corner of the eyes, and 3X is somewhere about the hairline, four and five. So the head is actually five X tall, which is going to help me out quite a bit. Um, at the mouth, the width of the face to her left, so right about there, is one X. And then another one X and another half X here. So going in this direction, it's going to be 2.5 X. And in this direction, it works out to be just about two and a quarter X or two X. It's shy of this width here. So that's going to give me a, a lot of dimensions to start my structural work with. Um, then the next thing you'll see me do is go for width of the nose and that's about oh, roughly five eighths or three quarters X and I can get that set here and from there I can derive where my eye corners need to be and my eyes usually end up being about as wide as the space between them you know depending upon the pose and the person and then from there, you'll see me just kind of wing it as far as figuring out the, what the widths are going to uh, do here. So that's how I'm going to approach this one. And uh, again, you'll see me measure. You'll see me take a great deal of time setting this up because you should. The, if you want any type of likeness and accuracy, uh, it takes a great deal of measuring and time to get this set up.